That was four years ago, and it hasn't been easy since then. So she became more religious, and it helped her recover and stay positive. She prays five times a day, and she keeps. Hi guys, you're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking. Hope you guys are doing great. So, how Islam saved her life? A touching story. Let's watch. This is Justine. And Islam became my life. Let's back up to the year 1993. Justine was born into a Christian family in Rouen, the capital of Normandy in France. She lived an ordinary childhood, taking up boxing when she was 10 and competing on a national level. At 16, she went to Hamburg, Germany to work and learn German, but found a love for Islam after teaching cooking classes to Syrian kids inside a mosque. She went back to France as a converted and practicing Muslim, but her life took a drastic turn when she was 22. She was hit by a truck in the street, which left her with broken legs, hands, hips, and an injured skull. Oh man. How many stitches did you have? Uh, 19. 19. What happened during the accident? So she was crossing uh, the road and she was on one pathway and the, the truck didn't see her and just came on the pathway and hit her and ran. Her life flashed before her eyes. The doctors told her that she wouldn't be able to walk for four years. They told her that she would never be able to uh, do sports again or to be a firefighter. But this girl is strong. After just seven months of being disabled in a wheelchair, plus two operations, she found the courage to start walking wow. again. That was four years ago, and it hasn't been easy since then. Every day, she has to do lots of physical therapy and take daily medications to keep her healthy. At times, she's been lost and confused, so she became more religious, and it helped her recover and stay positive. She prays five times a day, and she keeps halal. Immediately after the accident, she realized that the accident was beneficial, actually, and it was not something bad. It was just an exam or just a, a test from God. Her latest project entails this French gastronomic food truck, which she started three years ago. They only serve halal food, and it's amazing. So it's a food truck who does uh, wrap salads. And what they do is they go to offices where they do not have canteens or their own cafeteria, and they take orders from there. And every week, the menu varies. Justine just made us this food, and we're gonna try it. Deanna, go for it. How is it? We got the happy dance. Let me try. So good. Yeah. Delicious. At 26 years old, Justine is now happy, healthy, and has a very bright future ahead. She plans to get married, visit Mecca, and expand her business overseas. So she said that since she started this, she proved herself and she proves it every day to others as well that you can be a woman, you can be um, disabled, a Muslim, and be a successful entrepreneur. For some of us, religion isn't a big part of our lives, and for others, it helps us find meaning and a purpose. This is a success story for how a young girl has used religion to help her overcome difficulties in her life. We must always respect other people's opinions and beliefs because you never know what they've been through. Justine is the ultimate fighter. That was intriguing, guys. That was so intriguing. I learned a lot from the story. Just imagine being a fight fighter and a boxer and from there, you know, you went through that difficult times. And the one that blew my mind was when the doctor said it would take her four years. But the, you know, what, you know, what God cannot do does not exist. What Allah cannot do does not exist. God actually, you know, make sure he see her through. God saw her through just within six months, I think six or seven months, she recovered fully and she could walk because she had 19 stitches just imagine having 19 stitches that means the accident was a very brutal one you could see how the bandage and you know you could see her carrying the pop that is the greatness of god she said she accepted uh, islam based on the fact that you know she's into cooking too she delivered food to the syria kids and anytime she delivered they are learning quran from there she was intrigued to it she was you know, she was moved to learn about Islam and that's how her 
Islam journey started. Then from there, she had, oh man, do you know what it means for a truck to eat a human being? Ah, God is great. A lot of people have gone through that and they didn't come out of it. They went through such accident and never, they, never, they never came out of it. God gave her another chance. And when God gave her another chance, that made her, you know, get closer to God much more. And from there, God answered her prayer within several months. The words of God is always yea and amen. It's always powerful. The doctor can say this, but that's not the final. So as long as God has not stamped it, and God has not said it should be like that, there's nothing impossible for God not to do. Four years turned to seven months. Incredible. I am impressed. I'm, in, I'm impressed. God, she's a French-speaking lady. She's from a French-speaking country. And that was a beautiful, beautiful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.